The next faucet we're going to show changing cartridge on is our single handle kitchen faucet with a stainless steel ball. We showed you previously a lab faucet that had a single handle and now we're going to show it to you on a kitchen faucet. One of the other things that we want to show you on this faucet is how this faucet attaches to the sink. Very, very simple install. It's great particularly for those people that are doing it as a do-it-yourself project. You have two bolts that stick out the bottom. You have a trap plastic trim piece. The plastic trim piece is designed to help keep the water from flowing from around the faucet down underneath the sink. You could put plumber's putty or other material underneath this plastic piece, but do not get plumber's putty even on the chrome finish of any faucet, doesn't matter the manufacturer. Plumber's putty has an acid in it that is designed to create a seal, and if it gets on even chrome plating, it in time will eat the finish away. To continue, to remove the cartridge, you lift the handle up and remove the piece that hides a set screw, usually marked with red and blue. You can either try it with your fingernails or you can use a screwdriver or you can use your box cutter. I'm going to use the box cutter here. I slide it underneath the piece. Once it's loose, it will come out much easier. That was one smart plastic piece. Did you see what it did? It knew it was important for it to go back in the box so we didn't lose it. Bounced right into the box. Anyway, now you have exposed the screw, the set screw. You determine what size Allen wrench you need. Insert it into the set screw. That one obviously is the wrong size. That one is the wrong size. This one appears to be the right size. If the Allen screw is in there tight and the faucet has been used for a number of years, it may be wise to squirt a penetrating water oil into the unit onto the set screw. Once you've got the proper size Allen wrench on it, you unscrew the set screw just enough to remove the handle. Set it in your box. Then to remove the bonnet that helps hold the cartridge in, this is only hand tightened. I unscrew the piece and set it in our box. We've now exposed the stem to the stainless steel ball. You grab this and gently try to pull it out. In this case it came. Wiggle it and there's your stainless steel ball. One thing that's important to note there's like a Vaseline on this. It's wise that when you return the stainless steel ball into the faucet, the replacement, that you do put some Vaseline on it. Inside the valve body, you'll notice the two black washers. There's a spring underneath those. The spring forces the rubber gasket or, or washer up against the stainless steel ball, and that's what creates your seal. The stainless steel ball in this particular instance has two small balls like the previous one and one large with a slot on the side. 
When you're ready to replace the new stainless steel ball, check those washers, make sure they're good. If they're worn, that could be the reason why the faucet is leaking. You then grab the new stainless steel ball, insert it back into the valve body. You'll notice the slot on the side and there's a little pin on this side. You slide that pin just like that. One thing that's good for you to learn is in a faucet like this, and if you ever get a damaged one in or something, you want to take a look at these, it may not hurt. That spring allows that ball to bounce up and down. When this faucet is actually installed, if you push down on the handle real hard, water will come up through the outside of the ball and leak out onto the sink. This is a common occurrence and does not indicate that there's anything wrong with the faucet. It doesn't matter what brand, whether it be Delta, Moen, uh, possibly Price Fister, all of them that use a stainless steel ball will experience the same thing. But if you release it, the springs will force it back up, recreate the seal, and no water will come out. You then replace the plastic retainer piece. And you'll notice that there's a slot on the side that the peg on the side of the retainer piece fits into that slot on the side. Now you notice that it springs back up. As a matter of fact, you can see it move the stem as I do that. You then grab your dome, place it back onto the faucet, and tighten it back up. If you've got two hands, one thing that can ease tightening this up is to push down on this while you're tightening it. That way you're not trying to force the springs down. In this case, it worked just fine for me. It's now snugged up, and it's time to replace the handle. You take the handle, insert it back down on the stem. Tighten up the set screw. And replace the plastic indicator for the set screw. Pop it in good and solid. We've now changed the stainless steel ball on this particular faucet. And this will explain how to do such. Thank you.